Hi kindergarteners, I'm going to read you this book. The title of this book is called Adventure Annie Goes to Kindergarten. The author is Tony Buzio and the illustrator is Amy Wormer. Rise and shine, Adventure Annie, Mommy sings at my door. I hopped my calendar. At last! Adventure Annie Kindergarten Day. Will I have a wild animal zoo adventure? Maybe not today, says Mommy. Will I have a high flying circus adventure? Maybe after school, says Mommy. What about a daring search and find rescue adventure? Maybe on the week, says Mommy. I throw my arms out wide. Well then, what adventure will I have at kindergarten? Sometimes, Mommy says, kindergarten is its own adventure. I give her the Adventure Annie thumbs up. Can everyone give the Adventure Annie thumbs up? I swizzle back to my room and tuck my zookeeper hat, my high wire slippers, and my walkie talkies into my backpack, just in case. Let's go, I sing. We hop to it. I push through the tall glass doors of Pioneer Elementary School. I kiss mommy goodbye, then knock, knock, knock on the kindergarten door. I bust inside. Adventure Annie is here, I shout. A tall man rushes over to shake my hand. Hello, he says. I'm Mr. Todd, who are you? I point to the A on my shirt. What's her name? Annie. She goes by Adventure Annie. He glances at the clipboard. Annie, Grace? I nod my head and swirl my cape. Adventure Annie. Mr. Todd, Todd taps a hook marked Annie, but I wrap myself up tight. I need my cape. Well then, he says, let's find your seat. Follow Mr. Todd, Mr. Todd straight to a table that matches my red cap cape perfectly. I slip into a chair between two other kids. I'm Adventure Annie. Who are you? Jose, the boy says, and that's Luis. Luis just ducks her head. On the circle rug, Mr. Todd explains our kindergarten gold star rules. Respect our classroom and everything in it. Make good decisions. Use your inside voices and be kind and helpful to others. We all made class rules on our first day of school too. But what about adventures, I ask. You're right, Annie, Mr. Todd says. The most important rule of all is to enjoy your kindergarten adventure. Adventure is something that you do. Maybe it's something fun that you do, or that's what an adventure is, okay? It's something that you do. Then he taps his shiny gold star. Each day, I will choose my gold star deputy. I wave my hand in big circles. Here I am, here I am. Mr. Todd looks at me. We don't know who, who it will be quite yet, Annie. Does it depend on our kindergarten adventures, I ask? He tilts his head to the side. Yes, your adventures with the gold star rules. So they have to follow their rules in order to get the gold star. During morning snack at the red table, I wear my zookeeper hat. I pop wild animal fruit snacks into my mouth. How about a wild animal zoo adventure? Luis and Jose just blink. Behind Jose's chair, I spot three squeaky hamsters in a cage. What those squeakers need is a natural habitat exhibit. Luckily, the art supplies are ready for me. Clap, 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 clap. The room is quiet. Mr. Todd squats next to me and looks at the cage. Oh dear, he says. Remember the gold star roll, Annie? Take good care of our classroom and everything in it. Oopsie, I hand him the paintbrush. Back to your seat, please, he says. At the red table, I slide into my high wire slippers. How about a high flying circus adventure? but Luis and Jose just stare. Am I the only one looking for gold star adventures? The jungle gym sparkles in the sun just outside the window. 
While Mr. Todd washes off the hamster cage, I slip out the courtyard door and fly onto the empty climber. Uh-oh, do you think she should go out there by herself when everyone else is in the classroom still? Mm, that doesn't sound safe. Suddenly, I see Mr. Todd below me. Remember the gold star rule, Annie? Make good decisions. He points me back inside. All during Story Circle and math centers and lunch, I watch for new adventure opportunities. I imagine that gold star pinned under my chin. Afternoon snack time, Mr. Todd calls. I need two helpers to fetch milk. Who remembers where the cafeteria is? I wave in big circles, but Mr. Todd calls on Luis and Jose. We wait for the milk and wait and wait. Finally, Mr. Todd says, I need a helper to fetch the milk fetchers. They must be lost. This time, my waving works. Annie, why don't you go? But remember the gold star rule, use your inside voice. I grab my walkie-talkies and teach Mr. Todd how they work. Then I ziggle and ziggle through the whole school. Not in the library, I whispered to Mr. Todd. Not in the cafeteria. Not in the bathrooms either. Give me one more try, I say. I wonder where they are. I peek in at the door marked principal. Right there, behind a wagon full of mark, I spot the worried faces of Jose and Luis. I knock, 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 and burst inside, and my loudest whisper, I say, Adventure Annie, to the rescue. A short lady comes to meet me. Wonderful, she says. We were just about to walk to kindergarten. I lead Luis, Jose, and the milk wagon down the hall. We're on our way, I whisper in my walkie-talkie. Way to go, Adventure Annie, says Mr. Todd. We don't stop for a single adventure on our way back to kindergarten. At closing circle, Mr. Todd calls Annie Grace. Adventure Annie, I remind him. Then he pins the gold star right beneath my chin, after all. Adventure Annie, gold star deputy to the rescue. That's the end. So in this book, Adventure Annie just wanted to go on adventures adventures and have fun all the time but she needed to remember the gold star rules which she has in her classroom at school which was use your inside voice be nice to others and help other people take care of the things in our classroom so you guys all have those rules in our class too but she needed lots of reminders from mr todd to make sure that she was following the rules and at the end of the day what did she earn she earned the star because she went on an adventure to go get the milk people. And I think that's why Mr. Todd was so happy and proud of her. So he decided to give her a good start. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.